Hey guys, Ian here with Redline. I'm at Tuxedo Distributors in Texas today to have a look at a new piece of machinery, or actually a new feature that they've got for one of their pieces of machinery. A while back ago, I did a video on their mobile column lifts. I'm gonna put a link in the end of this video to that video where we lifted this great big U-Haul truck and we went over these single mobile column lifts and all of the features. So in this video, I'm not necessarily gonna show you all the features of those lifts, but what this video is going to show you is their forklift adapter setup and basically what it does is allow you to convert something that's really meant for being a great big truck lift and converts it into a forklift lift so like a drive-on forklift lift let's <laughs> say that five times fast drive-on forklift lift so anyways i'm just uh, going to check it out and show you some of the features so here it is it's basically a six-piece ramp system you'll notice that on the right i have it completely installed down on this end you have a wheel stop that stops you from driving off of it those are slots in the side so that you can move them into place with a forklift if you want to so basically you have a platform here you set it in place like you see there in the middle of the machine you have a another platform that just sets right on top of the forks so there is that same platform right there you set it in place on top of those forks. You know, there's no bolts, no pins, no nothing. And then down on this end, it's pretty much the same thing. A couple of ramps, you just move them into place just like you see right here, and you're ready to go. So before we lift our forklift, I do want to say that if you're lifting a forklift that has more ground clearance than that Yale right there, there's absolutely nothing stopping you from not using that ramp assembly right there at all. In cases where your forklift has enough you know, ground clearance, you don't necessarily have to have a ramp. And that's because these mobile columns move around like a pallet jack system. So there's nothing stopping you from just rolling your lifts right up to your forklift and rolling it right up underneath it and not using the ramps at all if you got the ground clearance. Now that we've got our forklift on the lifts, my friend Ron over here is going to help me and he's going to connect that communication cable from one column over to the other. That allows these two machines to, you know, sit there and talk back and forth with each other and make sure they're level from one side to the other going up. Uh, that cable does connect to the other side and it has like a twist lock mechanism that keeps it in place. Now we're ready to lift them. Now that we've got our forklift on our mobile columns, my friend Ron is gonna come over and hit the button and start raising the forklift up. Now I do wanna let you know that the center platform underneath there that does the actual lifting is an ALI certified piece that's done so that if you are if you require that for your insurance regulations you know you've got to have it you can do that and use it with their ALI certified mobile column lifts the ramps at the front and rear are not actually certified they don't have to be because they don't do any of the lifting now, since I know you guys love to see our failures, the reason we had to stop lifting this forklift in that previous shot is because we didn't have enough slack in our communication cable right here. So Ron just pulled some slack out. Now we can continue lifting it. One cool little accessory I wanna show you for this lift is this magnetic LED light. The thing sticks right to the side of the lift and it comes with a little cord with a, like a cigarette lighter style plug that then plugs into the lift and it lights up underneath your workpiece, whether it's a truck or a forklift or whatever it is. I'll tell you a little cool promo that we do here at Redline. If you get one of these things, uh, one of these mobile column lift systems, go ahead and put a post up on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, post up some pictures, tell people about it and how cool it is. I'll send you one of those little LED lights for free. I've got one safety concern that I wanna share with you guys. The reason that you wanna lift like this for a forklift is because a forklift is very narrow and very short and very heavy. You guys that are out there trying to put vehicles onto a four post lift probably are not realizing that the beauty of putting a car on a four post lift is all of the weight is not centralized in the middle. You've got weight here pushing down at the rear, weight pushing down at the front, and it's pushing down relatively in the middle of the runway. However, 
if I were to take that forklift over there and I were to put it on one of these four post lifts, all of that weight then would be very poorly centralized. It would be right here in the middle of the runway. You wouldn't be pressing down at both ends and then all of your weight would also be pressing here on the side of the runway. So your runway would one, then want to kind of bow as well as twist inward. It's just not safe. Look, if you've got yourself a great life insurance policy and you're trying to set your wife up, go for it. Otherwise, I don't recommend it. These mobile column lifts as well as the adapters are in stock here in Alvarado, Texas. I'm going to put a link down below in the description where you can find these things on our website. As always, I would ask that you click like, subscribe, follow along, ask your questions down below in the comments, all of that good stuff. I'll do my best to answer them. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you all learned something and I thank you for the time. Y'all take care.